Hello children, good morning. Welcome to Blue Stars High Secondary School online classes. Today you have your English class, okay? And uh, today we are going to see some grammar part. Okay, already we have completed some of the units in our textbook. So we have to see some grammar part and some vocabulary part. Okay, so today we're just going to see some vocabulary based on singular and plural forms. Okay, you know that already. And the prefix and suffix. So these are the two areas which we are going to cover today. Okay, children. So the first one, plural nouns. Okay, singular and plural. You know, what is a noun? Isn't it? What is a noun? A noun is a name of a person or a place or a thing or an animal okay so this you know already what is a noun and we have many plural forms for the nouns so it is not that we have only one form that just adding an yes to a singular is not at all the plural form because we have many type of plurals depending upon the words okay so we have regular plural nouns and then irregular plurals and some nouns we have no change at all in both singular and plural form. Okay, so this is what we are going to see. What are the rules for this conversion of singular to plural? Okay, so here what is a singular noun? Singular noun means just one thing. Okay, like only of one kind that is singular and uh, it is also opposite to plural what is meaning of plural which means more than one okay it can refer to more than one person or one thing or anything okay that is a plural noun understood children so i hope you know what is singular and what is plural okay here you can just see here See here, regular nouns. So normally when we talk about nouns, sorry, the plural nouns, what do you say? Just add an yes to it. So that becomes a plural, isn't it? So you just see here, car. Okay, these are the regular nouns. Regular nouns means we just add an yes to it. If you say one car, if more than one, you say as cars. You just add a yes to the car, isn't it? And see here, one dog, two dogs, book, books, house, houses, okay, apple, apples. So in all these nouns, you can just see they have added an yes to it. Yes or no? So these are all regular nouns. Understood? This is the first type which we are seeing today, okay? And now let's go to the second one. Just see here. The words or the nouns which are ending in yes, ch, yes, h, x, or z. Okay, just uh, remember these endings. If you have the words ending with these letters, you have to add es. What does this mean? Just see here, bus. Bus is ending with yes, isn't it? Just see here, yes. So you have to add an es to it. You cannot add just one more yes and you cannot say as bus. So instead you have to add an es to it. Why you are adding es? Because it's ending with yes. So the words, the, the nouns which are ending with yes, ch, yes, h, x, or z okay just to remember this so for these words you are going to add an es okay see so your bus buses match matches dish dishes box boxes quiz quizzes okay so the ch word ending with ch word ending with yes h word ending with x and word ending with z okay so for all this you are just adding an es okay this is the second type 
the first step we saw the regular nouns and now the words which are ending in yes ch yes h x or z the next type okay the words which are ending in f or f e so that's why i have just given here see here to be more clear the words which are ending in f or f e okay for these words you have to remove this f or f e if you have f in some words you have to remove that f if you are having f e at the end okay you have to remove that f e and add v e s okay what is the see here leaf so it is ending with f so you are just just to take off this okay remove this f and what you have to add v e yes so leaf becomes leaves okay and oof so here oof it's also ending in f so what you have to do remove this f and add v e s so oof becomes olds so here life it ends in f e so what you have to do take this f e remove this f e and add v e s so it becomes lives okay and see the next letter also the same thing f e okay f e it's ending so knife knife becomes knives do you understand this so the first rule is just add an yes to it second rule is add e s for the words ending with yes ch yes h x or z the third rule is words ending in f or f e what you have to do remove this f and f e and add v e yes okay now see the next one if an word ending in vowel plus y so what are vowels you know a e i o u isn't it are all vowels if you have a word ending with vowel plus y if you have a plus y or e plus y okay i plus y o plus y so in that case if you have a vowel and a y just see here day okay so day here the last your the last ending letter is y just check out the letter before this y a a is a vowel okay if if that is the case you are just adding s to it okay so add just an s to the letters for which we have vowel plus y ending okay so just add a s to it okay see here day days key keys boy boys guy guys donkey donkeys okay so for all this you have vowel plus y ending understood okay what if it is ending with a consonant plus y what are consonant except that a e i o u remaining all are consonant isn't it b c d e f so all these are consonant isn't it so just see here if you have a word ending with consonant plus y okay see here t is not a consonant isn't it and similarly see here b is also a consonant see here r is also a consonant so here t is also a consonant r again okay these are all not vowels these are all consonants isn't it if the word is ending with consonant plus y you have to remove the y and add i e s understood if it is vowel plus y you have to just add an s to it if it is consonant plus y you have to remove the y and add i e s okay do you understand this see here city becomes cities here they have just removed this y they have added i e s baby okay babies story stories party 
parties, country, countries. Okay, you you know all these spellings. Okay, if country means yeah, you know how to write countries, but you should know the rule properly. Why we are writing this? Okay, why it is not written as guess? So these there are some rules in English which has to be followed to write a proper way. And so that's why we are learning this. So just see here. If it is vowel plus y, just add an s to it. If it is a consonant plus y, you have to remove this y and add i e s. So all these five types, do you understand? Okay. And now we saw this vowel plus y, isn't it? Now what if it is vowel plus o? See here again. If it is vowel plus o, just add an s. Okay. If it is vowel plus o, just add an yes. And uh, if it is consonant plus o, remove. Sorry, just add an es. Okay. So see here. If it is vowel plus o, add yes. If it is consonant plus o, add e yes. Okay, just see here. So vowel plus y means just add yes. Consonant plus y means remove y and add i e yes. Understood? Just see here. Similarly, in vowel plus o, you are just going to add yes. Example is zoo, zoos, radio, radios, stereo, stereos, video, videos, kangaroo, kangaroos. Okay. And for consonant plus O, you're just going to add an ES. Hero, heroes. Echo, echoes. Tomato, tomatoes. Potato, potatoes. But there are some exceptions. Exceptions means, means which do not follow these rules. It is piano, pianos. For piano, you have to just add an yes to it. Though it is a consonant and ending with O, you cannot add es to it. You are just going to add yes to it. Okay. Similarly, photo, photos. Okay. Do you understand this, children? Okay. Now see here. Yeah, there are some nouns which do not have any change at all. Okay. Which do not have any change at all. That that is uh, I I told you in the beginning itself isn't it see here sheep sheep only deer deer only fish fish only series series species species so for all this there is no change you have one some more words like information staff and luggage for all these the plural form is the same we don't have any specific plural. We don't want to add yes to the words. Okay. For example, um, I mean information. Information is information only. Furniture. Furniture is furniture only in plural also. There are some words which do not need any change at all. Okay. And some irregular nouns are also there. Irregular nouns means... Um, it, it do not follow any specific rule. Okay. Just see here. Man, men. Child, children. Food, feet. Tooth, teeth. Mouse, mice. Person and people. Okay. These are the irregular nouns which do not follow any rule. I hope you understand all these children. Shall we move to the next part? Okay. Now, see here, this is what I told you. Okay. The plural uh, rule. And you can just see the nouns in singular and in plural. How it is getting changed. Okay. That all the rules we have discussed previously. Okay. So, here, these are the rules which you have to follow for converting singular to plural. Understood? See here. Add yes. So, vowel 
plus O add S. Okay. Vowel plus Y add S. So these for these three, you have to just add S to the words. Okay. If it is ending with CH, SH, YES, YES, SES, and X or Z, you have to add ES. Consonant plus O, ES. So consonant plus Y, IES. F for FE, remove this F and FE and add VE, YES. Okay, these are the general rule for changing the nouns. Okay, and we also saw some irregular form of the nouns and the nouns which do not have any change at all. Okay. And we are also having some compound nouns. Okay, children. So compound nouns means, you know, the compound words, isn't it? So two words join together to make a single word okay so just see here toothbrush so tooth is one word brush is one word so two or more words are created now they can be written as one word joined by an hyphen or written as separate words so sometimes we'll be having an hyphenated word isn't it a compound noun for example you have son-in-law father-in-law isn't it passer by runner up so all these things have hyphen within that. Some words do not have hyphen. For example, toothbrush, isn't it? So, I mean, uh, manservant. Okay, so for all these, we don't have a hyphen. So we have two ways. One is joined by hyphens. Other one is as separate words. These are the compound words. So for this word, we have certain rules how you have to give the plural forms. Okay, children. So see here, compound nouns I said. So this is the form which is in hyphenated way. So these are the hyphens. So Sister-in-law. Okay, brother-in-law. For all these, you should not write as sister-in-laws. That is the wrong way. You have to write as sisters-in-law. Brothers in law. Okay. So see here, coat of mail, coats of mail. Commander in chief, commanders in chief. Okay. Daughter in law, daughters in law. So what is this looker on? Lookers on. Passer by, passers by. So son in law, sons in law. Okay. So for all these hyphenated compound words, we are going to add to the main. Part, the main noun. Okay, children, you should not add to the later part of the word. Clear this one? Yes. So next is, as a rule in the compound, the second component take the plurals. So some compound nouns take the plural form in the later part also. See here, housewife, housewives. Toothbrush, Toothbrushes. Boy Scout. Boy Scouts. Maid Servant. Maid Servants. Okay. So for, there are some compound words which take the noun form in the later part also. Okay. So you have, this comes only by practice. When you just keep on practicing. So you'll be understanding what are the rules to be followed for this nouns. Okay. And these are some of the general irregular plurals. Okay, what is irregular plural? That will follow a different rule. It will not come under any category. Okay, so you can just see here. Um, mouse, mice, tooth, teeth, person, people. Okay, and there are some category wherein if it is ending in IS in the singular form, it takes ES in the plural form. For example, you can just see here, crisis, crisis. And similarly, basis, if it is basis, basis. Okay. Diagnosis, diagnosis. Analysis, analysis. There are some words which take this singular form as is. It is ending in is means it takes es in the plural form. Okay, children. Um, and then uh, you can just see here, X, uh, this is a plural form, okay, irregular word. 
and here i said is isn't it yeah. crisis crisis so here ellipsis ellipsis analysis analysis okay yes it may sounds the same but when you are writing it will have a separate spelling a different spelling okay okay and then uh, we have uh, yeah, i can just see here oasis similarly okay oasis diagnosis is diagnosis okay so these are the some of the rules to be followed in the plurals okay any doubts children still now okay i hope you all understood the plurals okay and uh, we we'll just go to the prefixes and suffixes okay and before that is just a recall of what we have learned let's check it out do you remember just add yes to the plural form the first rule then s h c h x or z or s if the word is ending with these letters you have to add an es to it if it is uh, ending with vowel plus y you have to just add an yes to it okay consonant plus y remove this y and add es okay or i e s okay and if it is ending with f or f e you have to remove the f and add v e s if it is vowel plus o add s if it is consonant plus o add e s okay there are some words which we have in the compound form okay which is in hyphenated form for the uh, for the few words we have to add an s to the main noun part for example sister in law means sisters in law for some words we have to add at the end isn't it toothbrush means toothbrushes like that and there are some uh, words which is uh, ending in is it is it will take es in the plural form okay and there are some words which do not have any plural form at all for example i said you furniture information isn't it so for all this we don't have any plural forms and we have just also seen about some uh, irregular uh, nouns so irregular plural form of the nouns also okay do you all remember that okay children i hope you all understood that and now you can just take this plural noun quiz okay just to write it down in your rough notebook and just find out whether you can be able to do this you will just get an idea now let's move on to the next part which is your affixes what is this affixes affixes is we are just going to fix something before the root word or after the root word understood so what is the root word you can just see here i've given you an example accept okay so accept is a root word here this is the main word if i am giving as prefix pre pre means add something to the front part okay pre so it is a prefix if i am just adding a word to the later part that becomes a suffix okay so accept is the root word and for accept i can give an ax unaccept so unaccept means it becomes a prefix because i have added this un to the front part of the word okay if i am just giving able okay acceptable so able is the suffix suffix because i am giving in the end part of the root word so this becomes a suffix so you know prefix means adding in the front part and suffix means adding in the later part so this becomes unacceptable understood see here a prefix a prefix is a part of a word it always comes at the beginning of the word okay it will change the meaning of a word itself how would change the meaning of a word just see here if it is happy if you are adding a prefix to happy un isn't it unhappy so it is the opposite of happy like dislike 
okay it will change the meaning of a word itself so that is why i have given here understood a suffix again it is a part of a word it always comes at the end of the word okay it also changes the meaning of a word for example i can say help if i am adding uh, less it is helpless helpless isn't it if it is fear what is the meaning of fear afraid if i am adding a less to it fearless fearless means it is not afraid isn't it it is opposite to fear so use useless isn't it so similarly even if we are adding a suffix to it sometimes it will change the meaning of the word also so both this prefix and suffix to be added to a root word if you have the root word only you can add a prefix or a suffix so this root word it holds the most basic meaning of a word okay so is what is left when you remove all the prefix and suffix so what is the root word first of all if you remove the prefix or if you remove the suffix what is the word you are getting the basic meaning of any word that is the root word you can add either prefix or suffix to the root word only understood children see here the general prefix is non which makes a opposite meaning dis or in see here disinterested disagree insufficient isn't it miss or un misunderstand okay unbearable misused and inter inter is international intermission interdependent so you have so many prefixes anti okay so inter meaning inter means between okay anti means against okay you can just see here no anti prosperent anti traditional and nowadays you have no like anti indians yes multi what is multi you know many multicultural multi talented which children are multi talented isn't it multi means many here super what is super more than okay which is uh, more than something superheroes you have in you know, a comics and all superheroes isn't it superstitious so even if super can be used as a prefix pre i told you already what is pre before so pre means before okay so prehistoric prepaid you used to pay no in a prayer that's it if it is pre means before and post means after isn't it post test postpone post season so all these are after re re means again which is happening again okay redo rethink re retry so it is also a prefix sub sub means under okay just under try to remember the meaning for these prefixes children sub means under subway isn't it submarine so all these are prefixes of sub to so see here trans trans is across transaction okay you just do it in your atm and all no your bank transactions transformation transportation so all these are prefixes okay to see so you have so many prefixes which is add to the root word and it just changes the meaning and for the word also and just try to remember the meaning of these prefixes too you can just see here i have just given uh, some of the prefixes this non un in im under re pre miss out so meaning of these also i have just given okay 
this we have discussed in the previous slide itself. Isn't it? See here. This. This means not. So this non, un, in, im, for all this the meaning is not only. So happy means not happy. That is unhappy. Okay. You can just see here. Like, dislike. I don't like it. Okay, not liking. So it is dislike. Complete, not complete. We cannot say not complete. Instead of that, you can say incomplete. Similarly, possible, not possible. So instead of saying not possible, we are going to say as impossible. Okay, so see here, under. Under means lower or less. You can just see here, under charge, underpaid, undergraduate, isn't it? So re, I told you again, rewrite, review, replay, you know, all these things. Pre, pre means before. Is it a prepaid, preview? We have just discussed it also. Miss, miss means bad. Okay, misuse, misunderstand, misbehave, miss. Okay, all these are prefixes of miss. Out, outdoors. Out means outside. Outdoors, outsource, outspoken, outlaw, etc. Okay, so these are the some examples of these prefixes also. And now we have some. Suffixes too, similarly. We just saw some prefixes in red. So these are some suffixes. See here, age. Okay, so you have to just add all these suffixes also. What is suffix? Adding at the end of the word, isn't it? So age, okay, age is wreckage. You can just see here, ants. Ants is important, it's action of state. A-N-T. A-N-T is assist, assistant. Okay, this is import, importance. Here, E. E is also a suffix. Referee. Refer, referee. E-N-C. E-N-C. Differ, difference. E-R. Teach, teacher. It refers to a person. Okay, so A-N-T, E-E, -E, all, all these things and E-R or O-R refers to a person. Okay. And the E R Y. Okay, E R Y is also a, a state. Okay, it's just a first word action or a state. Here you see a rob, robbery. That's why. Okay, E S S, wait, waitress, act, actress, all those things. Full I N G, paint, painting, A N C. -E. Okay, again, this one important. We have just seen it action or state. So see here, I-O-N, I-O-N is decorate, decoration. I-S-M, I-S-M generally refers to the belief. Hindu, Hinduism, okay, so like that. So you see here, Judah, Judaism, okay, Buddha, Buddhism. Able, what is able, able to do something. So just see here, inflatable, E-N, made of, what it is made of, wool, woolen, wood, wooden, so all these things. I B L E ability, okay, flexible, okay, I S H a little greenish, bluish, whitish, okay, so all these things. Less is without, care careless, okay. Just see here the meaning of these suffix also we have given here. So just try to remember all these suffixes when you are just using the word. You will learn how to add this prefix or suffix. And here I've just given some of the important suffixes to be noted. The same as you have seen already. Only one or two will be added here. IST. Okay, a person again. Flower, florist. Okay. You just see here. LY. Quick, quickly, slowly. Isn't it? Yes, so all these are most important suffixes. Just go through all these suffixes and the meanings and how it is used also. We have given the examples as well, okay? I hope you understand the prefix and the suffix also and we have just seen the plural form of the words. So this is the worksheet for your suffix and prefix children. And here you can just see, you have only the prefix part here. From this, you are just going to choose the correct prefix for these words. This worksheet too, again the same. Match the correct prefix 
okay or suffix to make it a proper word for example un un is happy isn't it unhappy like that you are just going to write the proper word this is your worksheet 4 okay so root word plus prefix and suffix from this you are going to choose and write this is the assignment for you today so totally you have four worksheet okay so learn the singular and plurals you have it in your page number 74 to 82 and uh, do the worksheets also given in the video okay thank you children have a nice day stay blessed